you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere, and you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gertershade. Tell them Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet at Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too.
want something? You came in here on your own. Yeah. You done? Good. Any luck finding out how rivets Good hunting! Keep up the great reason!
Oh, you startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. That is precise. Do you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, I'm a scientist, how marvelous. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? My word, you understand perfectly. How marvelous! Well, I'm afraid I've made slight miscalculations in the mutagen. Instead of lowering their size, the brood hatched with a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but, but I can't get near my equipment. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have skipped a step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. If I were to do that, months of data would be lost. No, no, the Queen must remain completely unharmed. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Ooh, filthy little abominations. I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? Yes, I suppose you're right. Science must learn to acquiesce to your standards in order to advance itself. I was merely going to offer up one of my mutagenic bio-enhancers, but I suppose I could up the ante. I will also award you with my old lab coat. It served me well over the years, and you may find it useful for your own experiments. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. They're quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. Playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize one tiny tweak at any point in the last million years could have completely changed us? Going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Just aim for their antennae if you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. The stimulation of the subject's evolutionary trigger by the mutagen caused a biodefensive reaction metamorphosing the ant's venom glands. This process caused unexpected oscillations in the venom molecules at such a vast rate it produces a thermodynamic biochemical reaction. As the subject ejects the volatile solution, it becomes conflagrant due to new structures in its maw I call its calefaction array. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Far too curious. His incessant questioning would often come when I was the most absorbed with my calculations. He had no regard for the importance of my work. 
All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. I have no time for children and their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? There are many that say it can't be done. Well, um... I may have used a few, uh, <clears throat> shortcuts, yes. I was told that the FEV works wonders when used under controlled circumstances. Apparently I was wrong, but I know my mistake. I'm certain I can get it to work. By introducing my mutagen directly into an ant... This is a generational system, meaning it will take quite a few broods before the ants are at their destination size. In the end, I hope to make them as small as they were over 200 years ago. Destroy? You mustn't do that! It's my life's work! Just clear me a path to my equip- Fine. I'm only going to ask you this one time. Give me the naughty nightwear. All right, all right. My mistake. It obviously belongs to you. Now, uh, you just watch it, because I won't be so nice next time.
I trust your task is progress- mm.
how else may I? I've detected some changes with... Oh, how... Come now, the faster you tell me, the... F what? How could you do such a thing? Perhaps man isn't ready, my friend. Not today, but maybe someday. I suppose I shouldn't be angered by your actions. Forgive my impertinence. How marvelous! Here is the promised lab coat. I'm certain you'll find it quite useful. Which injection did you want? How marvelous! Yes, what did you need? Well, I will continue my research. There has to be a way to reduce these creatures to their former size. Until then, I will be staying in my shack next to the Wilkes' home should you ever wish to visit me. You should take him away from this place. Find him a home. It would be difficult to accomplish my experiments with him scampering about and asking an interminable amount of questions. Stupid monsters! Can't get me in here. It was so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did, but I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way and I'll have to try living here by myself. Hope you'll come back and visit someday. Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Just don't forget about me.
Well, Papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big giant ship somewhere or something. Papa called the place Rivet City, but I don't know where it is. Pfft, I wish I was tough like you. Get any ideas? I've got just the thing for you. Give me a shout if you need anything. Hello. Do you want to hear a story about? How's Underworld been treating you so...
dogs. Just listen to this. All right. Three dogs has heard about yeah. some crazy things going on out there in the capital it's wasteland. But this one just might beat them all. I've been getting some scattered reports that a couple of costume kooks have been battling for control of the settlement called Canterbury Commons. One of these wackos seems to be assisted by robots, and the other by mutated bugs. Every day it seems to be the same nutty scene, with the scuffles ending in a stalemate. So if your travels take you to Canterbury Commons, keep your head down and your assault rifle loaded for crazy. Until next time, this is Three Dog, Ooh! and you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. Bringing you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. Now, some music. A pleasure doing business. Whatever.
Mike, thank you. Thank you so much. I thought I was dead for sure. Here, I managed to hide these supplies before they tied me up. You take them. It's the best I can do to thank you. You're right. I'll try to make it on my own. If I'm careful, I should be okay.
please, please, please. Oh, please.